I feel reluctant to speak for <laughs> the whole film. Um, I can tell you, Jason, my personal feelings are that higher institutions of learning are broken in a number of ways, not just for student athletes. You have 53% unemployment among recent college graduates. Those aren't just 53% 53 unemployment among athletes. That's total of all college graduates are either under or unemployed. It's a new economy in which our higher education has not quite caught up to yet. So you take an athlete that is a certified genius in moving their body through space and you ask them to sit for an hour, sometimes two, to learn algebra. A very good question to ask is, how is this algebra class helping me get a Division I scholarship? Or why is this algebra class keeping me from being eligible of pursuing my dream? We are stuck in an educational system that seems archaic. So when you loop football on top of that, and you get these athletes coming from backgrounds, many of them, in which there is not a strong academic tradition, God bless people like Brittany Wagner who are there to help bridge that gap between what's expected of them in the classroom versus the skills that they are bringing to a place like Scuba, Mississippi. All right, you mentioned Brittany Wagner. She's the academic advisor. Listen, this was a documentary about football. Buddy Steven stars in it. Ronald Ali, a defensive tackle from a tough background, stars in it. John Franklin that's probably going to be the starting quarterback at Auburn. He's there. The star of this documentary, though, is Brittany Wagner. Were, were you aware of that when you were filming this, that the academic advisor, basically the real-life uh, blindside mom, and there was a real-life blindside mo mom, this is the second one, were you aware that she would be the star of this documentary? No. No, I, we knew that she would be a principal character because the moment you meet Brittany, she has this um, charisma and drive and ambition. Um, and, and so we, we, we trained our cameras on her for a reason. We knew that she would be a principal focus. Let's keep it 100% real. She's also attractive. She's, a, she's an attractive <laughs> woman. I hope, I hope she's watching. She'll be so pleased, Jason, to hear you say that. Uh, and single. Currently, I don't know how long that's going to last Not after long. the release of this show. Um, yeah, she's fantastic. And, and part of what, you, know, we, you try and be everywhere as a documentary film crew. When you're in a whole college campus as your palette, you want to paint with all these different colors. We were smart enough, to our credit, to place a camera full time in Brittany's office. She completely opened it up to us. The players that came in agreed to allow those intimate conversations that happened between her and them to be filmed, and so much of the meat of our show uh, is a result of that decision. Greg, I, I think you've made a marvelous documentary. It's perfect for the time that we live in. I played college football. I try to explain to people about sports' ability to bring people together across racial and economic lines. I think this documentary shows that, that there are good people out there trying to help disadvantaged people uh, it's a tremendous documentary. Thank you for doing it. Thank you, Jason.